we knew uh, Team USA was uh, was expected to win yesterday. They didn't just win. 13 nothing uh, as the you just heard in Sports Center uh, a record number of goals, a record margin of victory. I mean, they went in and they thrashed Thailand uh in 13 nothing sort of one of those staggering wins, but it's created a little bit of controversy. We yeah, have some World yeah. Cup it, controversy. It, it, it certainly has the controversy of uh, people that thinking they ran the score up to those maybe not thinking they ran the score up to people thinking they celebrated too much after goal, I don't know, eight uh, in this as well. Like, what a to, weird day like where you sit down. I, I mean, sat down late and it was one nothing. I go, oh, man, I missed a goal. Like, hopefully I see another one. Oh, I mean, <laughs> it was you couldn't not look at the TV, you know, for 30 seconds without seeing a goal. And so, yes, the con- controversy, you want to call it controversy. It's really not controversy. It's the more discussion about sportsmanship, and I'm using the air quotes, to, uh, I, I guess I'll kick this one off, zero problem with 13 nothing. zero problem with celebrations. It's World Cup, get the hell over it, okay? This ain't rec league, all right? First of all, the goals, there's goal differential in this, so don't take any chances. You can score, you can score. Second thing is, again, there's only so many substitutes you can substitutions you can have in this, so it's not like you can hockey change, you know, every sub in that you have. You can't do that. So you got to play with the people that are out there and some of the, the starters that, that end up staying out there. So and, and then the celebration. Oh, the celebrations looked choreographed. Yeah, no kidding. If you've been watching the World Cup at all, a lot of the people have choreographed and countries have choreographed celebrations. And I know you're mad because they did it on goal 10, 11, 12, and 13. Get over it. It's a World Cup, man. Same rec league again. Have a ball doing it. Do your thing. You're living every one of your dreams. You've worked your entire life to get to this moment. We had Brandy Chastain on yesterday to talk about sort of the the first day you wake up and you know that you're playing in the World Cup. We have all of these sort of moments and memories we want players to have, and then they get into the moment where they can sort of live out their lifelong dream, and we want to fault how much they celebrate. Like, I, I don't understand how, on one on one hand, we, as a society, we want the live every day to its fullest, like it's your last. And then, on the other hand, we want the, but act like you've been there before. Now, if you've worked your whole life to get here and you score a goal in the World Cup, celebrate, dang it, you've earned it. It's so interesting to me because you're right. Like I, you, you get very limited opportunities at this stage. So to not be happy when you do a good thing seems fundamentally flawed. But what she brought up about there about goal differential is absolutely true. You remember a couple of years ago, the NCAA, now that we've done the college football playoff enough, decided that they wanted to de-incent margin of victory. They didn't want people running up the score on everyone. They didn't want 77 to nothing games. And so they told the committee, we're not incentivizing this, even though we all know the way the box score looks absolutely affects it. For this, it's absolutely incentivized. Like someone pointed out in our pre-show meeting, and it's true, the other teams in the group are going to play Thailand. So in theory, you could see these kind of goals if Thailand is in fact this bad and it's not just the U.S. being that good also in this. So you got to kind of play the game and all that because it, 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 it's just what's incentivized. At so this do you point. have any problem with celebrations, though? No, not really. Like, you know what? In all, like, in, and we've got a question up on the 1-800-Flowers.com Twitter feed right now, at Golik and Wingo. What's the worst sports beating you've either taken or administered? Yeah. 